All right, boy, boys, let's open up the forum. Reedy, you start. How are you seeing it? Uh, look, I think the, I'm with Kendi, actually. I think the NRL's made the, the right move, move. We know how the world, uh, sport around the world, has reacted to the concussion issue, and I think the game needs, needs to get their head around it and, and, and stamp down it because we can't have head contact with the head anymore. It just can't happen. I know we've got rules in pl- place. But it's been in place for 100 years. Well, I know it has, Gordy, but they've let too many things slide. Too many things get... Accidental contact is contact. I get it. Regardless. Josh Papali got sent off, and he should have. And he's facing but three Tyson to five weeks. Tyson Gamble's tackle on the winger on... Still uh, high. G- Garrick? Still high. Yeah, but it's not a sin bin. Well, and I know it's what? still high. Gordy, well, you said it's been going on for 100 years. The fact is... No... Head-eye yeah, tackles have been illegal in the game for 100 years, and because of uh, a, a, a campaign begun by coaches many years ago whereby when a player uh, who was always sent off under the rules, uh, at the very least sin bin, uh, the coaches started to complain, oh, we had no chance to win once we, once we got that guy sent off. And where they got uh, a bit of support around the game was when the, co- the, the player that was sent off would then go to the judiciary and once he was there he'd be exonerated at which point the outrage would double everybody said oh we've lost two points now and he was let off and so what happened then was there began this tolerance in the game for allowing the, the head eye tackle and then we will sin, we will we'll look at it later under the match review status and as some people have pointed out that yeah for example that doesn't help the team who lose a player like the Roosters did some weeks back when Jordan Pereira took out James Tedesco took him out for the game. He was unable to come back and, and complete the game, and Pereira was only off the field for 10 minutes. So the, the fact is, players and coaches have just got to start learning to defend differently. They've got to start bringing the tackles down, and if they don't, they'll get sin binned or sent off, and the clubs that ca- cotton on quicker than anybody else will get the advantage out of it. So the, the trick for the coaches is to go away and say, guys, we know this is the line in the sand. This is what we're going to stop doing. And, and they'll have an advantage until the other teams catch up. But overall, big picture, it's what the game needs. And I agree with you, Paul. And yes, the game has to be cleaned up a little bit. And I think it's cleaner than it's ever been. Hmm. No fighting and all that kind of stuff. And no shoulder charge. So we're doing this. Our game still needs to look like rugby league. And we can't lose our DNA. And then... I know it's about the fans, and then if you were here on Friday night and felt the oxygen leave the stadium, that's our fans. Because they're the ones that no, no, they're the ones that are disappointed. They're the ones that come and play. And then the young players were tweeting, "What's going on with our game?" Goody, the oxygen left the stadium because Brisbane were pathetic. It didn't matter they lost two blokes to the Sydney men. They were rubbish on Friday night. Kevy admitted that. I That's that. why people left early. People didn't leave early because Tyson, Tyson Gamble, Gamble went to the Simbin. People left early because Brisbane were disgraceful three, on Friday night. But That's why tries. they left early. 100%. No, no, the oxygen left when two people got sent to the state. Gordy, come on. come on. I was here as well, Gordy. I was here as well. And the other thing is, Gordy, you've got to understand... We're, we're... So what are we trying to attract? Well, this... UFC is the fastest growing sport in the world. It went from Gordon, 2 million to 8 million. Gordy, that's not the it's argument. Oh, no, no, Gordy. yes, it is. Yes, it is, because you are allowed... Listen, Paul, there's still accidents. Cars are safer than ever. They've got airbags. There's accidents. There's still people that get killed in cars. Gordy, and, and so the rules are... The rules happen. are... The rules are quite simple. You the hit someone passed. high, you go off. You go off. That's it. Tyson Gamble shouldn't have been sinned in. Because, no, no, well, you could argue Tyson Gamble was careless in his action and there is a careless charge that's out there. So he was it's careless in his right. action. So, Paul, so you think every tackle like that, right? So let's fast forward to the grand final. Oh, Nathan, don't, don't give me that analogy. No, no, no. Yeah, no, but just answer this then. So Nathan Cleary goes and he steps inside and Tedesco just clips him high and he gets sent off. Or Sinbin. But, Gordy, the other thing is... Is that what you want? No, yes, no, no. it the is. Other, the, it other is. Thing is sure. the other thing is, Gordy, cool. uh, you know, this crackdown's happened now. And initially, you'll get some deci- decisions that are a bit excessive, right? Yep. But they will... Ev- Trent Robinson addressed it last night. He said they will recalibrate and they will find the right spot. You can't I don't think Tyson Gable should have been Tedesco, Sinbin. Tedesco, I'm with Tedesco, you. when he comes into contact, well, I, I, he I, does slip I a little bit. I didn't have an issue with that. No, but he does slip a little bit. So like he does slip a little bit. But so he's you still can't, hit him in the head. You and can't Gordon, react, Gordon. Everybody that no, you can't Tedesco react. Is going to get sin bin. And Gordon, so you can't and react to him. So what's going to happen? He will get sin bin, t- but he won't get charged because when they look at the charge okay. at the match review panel, they look at what's called mitigating circumstances, which will be the slip. But in in the confines of the game. It was a high tackle. They're, Gordon, it's simple. It's black. Everybody complains they want black so and white interpretations. Everybody. No, hang on. They want. I'll they, tell you what th- I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be coaching my guys. Run up, okay, and run a Jared Rea Hargreaves and slip. Okay, and deliberately get yourself knocked out. That <laughs> no, probably explains a bit. 
No, mate, well, that's what's going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. Wolves, mate, run what? at their best what? player and slip. Why can't so they just you... adjust their hitting zone? What? What? You can't adjust that quick, Greedy. You cannot adjust that quick. Well, they've got to adjust they earlier. Hit. They've got well, to adjust to. earlier and go lower. That, that's what they've got to do. They've got to adjust. And that's the point. If you adjust point. early on James Tedesco, he runs around. To, to the point that uh, Trent Robinson last night, they will recalibrate. That they will, they will set. Instead of trying to hit Gordon, yeah, you, you go back to your day, you hit either on the ball or below the ball. Now yes. they hit on the ball or above the ball. That's, yes. th they've just got to change. That's the fact. You, you won't be telling players to come and run at a defender and in the last metre drop six inches so he hits you high and you get him sent off because there's every chance, good. you're going to get yourself knocked out. The I, fact is, there will, as I said at the start, there will be an adjustment period which we're, it's, it's like the teething period for kids. Yes. Yeah, plenty and of whinging, plenty of crying, but the fact is, once you get through it, it's much easier eating steak with teeth than without, Gordon. So you've just yeah, got to well, go through a little bit of pain before you can get to your no, steak. I've got a pretty good, mate, I've got a pretty good blender at home. Gordy, the, <laughs> fact, Gordy, the fact is sports around the world, rugby union, uh, yeah. AFL, yep. they've taken this step already. We are dragging the chain. We're behind everyone on this. We're dragging we're the chain union, on this. They can't fill a stadium. And we're not AFL. Uh, uh, totally rugby union's problems are different. You can't tackle. A rugby you union's problems are different, AFL. Gordon, and you AFL can't. is a completely different tackling style. You look at the guys that could tackle. I had to do a, a function on, on Friday. Remember Peter Johnson? Yes. Played for Parramatta and South. Parramatta, One of the great the whackers. And we just sat there having a little bit of a talk about where the game's going. This is before the crackdown. And we talked about things like that and, and just the way the game's changed defensively. We've gone through an adjustment in, 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 in the way players tackle. We've got to have to go back the way we, that they used to tackle. Yes. Get rid of the catch, the wrestle, the tackle yep. high. You look at a bloke like Jake Travojevic who snaps blokes in half and we all sit there and applaud when he tackles like that. We need more guys doing that. Paul, I agree with you guys when it comes to a Josh Papali or it comes Pereira on Tedesco. I agree with that. That should be sent off. But a Tyson Gamble, an accident. Gordy. When you go on to save a try... No, Paul, mate, an you accident. slapped me harder than that. An accident. Mate, you, mate like you've slapped me, said Gordy. It's it wasn't, it like wasn't an accident, Gordy. It was careless. And there was a, a, char a provision for careless tackles in the charge sheet. Second to that, Tyson Gamble won't make that mistake again now. He got caught on the opening night of the crackdown. And he went off. But he will fix his style. It's up to him now to fix his style. That's the way the game has got to go. That You can't sit there and ask for change in the game and then disagree with it. As I was about to say earlier, people want black and white interpretations. And the minute they don't agree with that interpretation, that decision, they then want discretion brought in. So at the, moment we have, now at the moment we have a black and white rule that if you, sh if you tackle someone and your shoulder hits them in the face, then you go to the sin bin. It is very, very simple to understand. Of course, some tackles are going to have more impact and have more velocity and are going to have more repercussions than others. But the fact is, at the moment, it's a black and white rule. If you tackle someone and your shoulder hits them in the face, you're off. Now, if you start bringing in discretion because you think, oh, that wasn't too bad, that's how we got in this situation in the first place because people started going, oh, that's okay, we'll leave that to be reported later. The fact is, as really saying, the game needs to get it out of the game. And so uh, any, don't give me the so argument that doctors and lawyers and are going to be running the game. Any, so any player that runs and he slips and the player can't react and his stomach or chest, because he's trying to make a copybook tackle, he can't adjust quick enough, and the player's head hits him in the chest, he's going to be sin bent. That's true, and you know how he wow. avoids that? He goes in lower to begin with. He, he's already bent his no, back. No, he, he hasn't. He hasn't bent his back enough, Gordon. That's the point. He's got to start, you've got to start, might okay, have to account for that. I'm going to tell you what, Gordon, they learned, I'm tackle the studs they on the bottom after, of their boots. They learned after Friday night, we saw a lot less high tackles from Friday night to Saturday. And I reckon we'll see less today. Less contact with the you What are you looking at there, Reedy? Well, the charge sheet's come out. Josh Papali, bad news for Paul Green three and Canberra because he's got three to five weeks uh, for that tackle on uh, Tui Katoa. Uh, Josh Hodgson's looking at one to two weeks for the chicken wing on Luke Thompson. And um, Jack Whiten's looking at one to two weeks for the cannonball on Adam, Elli Adam Elliott. So bad news for Canberra. The rest of the charges were all fines. Ten charges in all. But only three yeah. blokes are facing suspension. They're all, all Canberra players. All right, boys. I think I that would have lost the, my license. I think the Raiders got Melbourne NRL. next week. Too. I would have lost my license in the first month. <laughs>